Hey, Earth Signs. Hello. Hello, darlings. How are you? Welcome in, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is a daily read, general read for you, November 9th. So just feel free to swap around the characters, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I could be talking to a cross watcher. So please don't, please don't uh, try to jam yourself into every reading. It, it doesn't really work like that. But if you're here, there's probably a message for you. So let's do this. A uh, couple of announcements. Um, if you're interested in the spiritual business class, the uh, registration closes Monday Eastern time at noon. And we start Monday evening at 7 p.m. It's going to be four live classes taught. Super exciting energy about this, about how to step into your work as a spiritual practitioner, a spiritual guide. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing out there, I am working on supporting you, helping you get out there in a bigger way. Okay, so that class, the link is below to sign up. If you want to sign up for tarot classes, that's also there. Lots going on here. So, Earth sign, let's see what's going on with you. Um, let me see here. Okay, all right. This is the closed book. This is the book of wisdom, book of knowledge. Um, book of information. Um, this is the man number two, the one who has kind of lost confidence. Uh, I feel like a relationship you thought, a relationship that was not known to most people, I feel like you're losing steam about it and it's going to be cut off or you're waiting for this person, you're waiting for this other person to come back to you. And I don't feel like that's really going to happen. I feel like that person, um, it could, it could change quickly. So it could, you know, all of a sudden become a thing or it could completely go away. Right. But whatever is happening here, it is, um, changing on a dime. I'm just going to cut these cards and do something a little bit different here. Um, it's going to be changing quite a lot. So let's see where we go here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That Sith scythe uh, can be cutting something off or it could be something changing really quickly. All right, first of all, let's do this. Yeah, Ten of Wands. If you've been um, laboring <laughs> under the weight of how to bring this about, Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, Death Energy, Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, Emperor, could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Two of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign who wants a new beginning and they're going to do whatever it takes. Manipulation. You cut that off and you go in your own direction. Okay, somebody's trying to manipulate you here. Most definitely. Oh, I love this. King of Swords. Like, you're not going to be trifled with. I see you here. Emperor, Star, Two of Cups. You are done. There is somebody here who has been messing with your head. Okay, Ten of Wands. There's a water sign here who is like, you know, this is sort of like very, it's not teasing. It's worse. It's way worse than that. It's sort of like, come here, stay away. Come here, stay away. They're really trying to manipulate things very much in their own favor, keeping you in the dark about stuff, making you do all the work here, earth sign. And it's like, you know what? You're way more powerful than you think. Emperor going towards the star. Okay. And I feel like there's something new here on the horizon. Two of cups. You know what you want. You're manifesting what you truly want. This person can't hang. Okay. So you're going to have a little bit of an altercation with them. Five of wands. Knight of Pentacles, okay, being very, um, all right, King of Swords here at the end. The Knight of Pentacles here makes me feel like the more this person tries to hide their manipulations or the more they try to seem like, yes, it's really a new start. This is Lucy with the football. Every time they try to start something new, it's because they want you to do the heavy lifting and hard work of relationship. They don't want you to be in a good place, but you are in a good place, moving toward a better place. All right. 
Um, this person doesn't deserve you. This water sign does not deserve you. No, you're going towards somebody different. You're going towards somebody who is, if you are in relationship with this person already, if you're in with this water sign, could be a Scorpio, but the Scorpio, we're in the Scorpio time period right now. So what's happening is sort of this death, death to a manipulative relationship that's been in your life. And the new beginning is for you. Okay. Somehow. All right. So, okay. A lot here. So you're moving toward a soulmate, a single soulmate, somebody who is single, not married, obviously, somebody who's ready to take a leap of faith. They want to be with you and everything like that. What's happening here is the ending to an old way of doing relationship. You could be actually ending a relationship, letting something go that was very difficult for you. Nine of wands, 10 of wands, putting down that burden. If you were dealing with a water sign or somebody who's channeling the Scorpio energy, the Scorpio time period as you move into Sag is going to be way better for you. Okay. All right. Yes. Page of swords, six of pentacles, five of pentacles, nine of cups. I feel like you're actually seeing now because of this. Okay. So this person is doing some nasty things to you or has in the past. You might never have taken a leap of faith with this new person. You might never have come into this emperor moment of yourself and taken a chance on love with this new person. If this other person hadn't done some nasty things, showed you how strong you are, showed you the path by lighting the fire under you, and you might have been too timid or too afraid. This masculine energy is very timid energy. You might have stayed very timid and not moved off of this relationship, but because they're such a jerk or because they do stuff that's so like right in your face, awful, you're right. They're really trying to keep you down. This person, um, this water sign or someone who's channeling Scorpio energy, they're channeling transformative energy in a negative way. If they hadn't been this negative to you, if they hadn't been this hurtful, this other person, this Nine of Pentacles, Fool, Six of Cups, may not have looked that good. Might have looked a little scary to you. Okay, Nine of Cups. Um, this is really truly what you want, the star energy. So it's giving you this fuel to be like, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for the person I want. Two of Cups. You may already be in love with that person. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. This other person... Um, it's like you're going to cut them off, all right? This other person, you're going to cut them off and you're going to gain the confidence to really go for what you want in life. Boy, is that beautiful. So how you're going to do this, it does feel to me, well, it could be a little passive aggressive or something like that, but who cares? <laughs> Honestly, who cares? I mean, this person has done so much damage to you uh, just in your own self-esteem, your own um, belief in yourself, your, you know, they really, and so I'm just going to say this to you, this person really sees how awesome you are, and they're trying, this is the devil energy, it's not here yet, it might be, but I feel like you're cutting this off, the devil energy of trying to have you believe that you're powerless, trying to have you believe that you're not worthy of something better. This something better could be an Aquarian energy. Aquarius, Aries, okay, I see that here. The something better could be that real healing experience. This is a truly healing experience. Yes, did this person teach you this way in a negative way? Yes, they did. But at the end of the day, you're not going to care how you got there, okay? You're just going to care that you got there, all right? that you were able to move toward this person. And, you know, for me, it feels like it might not have happened any other way, okay? That sometimes people need to, people need to get, and this Ace of Wands is beautiful to me because it's like the clarity and the King of Swords here. It's the clarity, it's the seeing. This is a gigantic match, lighting the torch toward where you're going. And it could have come from like this burning, this like, finally your inner self said, 
I'm better than this. I am better than this. This person is abusing me. This person's manipulating me. <laughs> Just going to cut them off. And what will come of that is this new person coming on your path. Healing. Taking action toward healing, toward a better relationship. You do have to go th walk through this. Yay, though I walk through the valley, the shadow, the shadow of the valley of death, or no. The valley of death, shadow of death or something. I can't remember the quote exactly. I fear no evil. This person has scared you into submission for a long time. And you might not even know that you're scared or that you're in submission. But something they say, I feel like this five of swords here, something they say, something they say, it's, it's not big. It's like you don't deserve love or something like that. They make you feel like you don't like you have to work, work hard for the 10 of wands and the eight of pentacles. You've got to sing for your supper. You've got to work hard. I'm not going to give you one thing. I'm not going to give you any love. I'm not going to give you any joy or happiness. you must, you must serve me. Okay. You must serve me. And this may not be an overt way of manipulating you, but they are manipulating you. I love that you're like, there's something in your heart that goes, I'm better than this. And you know what? You are. And you will be rewarded. Woo! Earth sign. Oh my God. All right. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see where we go. Um, the link is below free extended. I will see you over there.